Hey everybody, my name is Kip and you're watching America Bumper to Bumper. Today we are looking at cars at the Relay for Life uh, car show. This is held in uh, Rutland, Vermont. This is, I believe, I don't know, fourth or fifth year that they've been doing this. Um, so let's uh, take a look at a bunch of really great cars. From from. And the next car we're going to look at is this uh, C6 Corvette. This is a car we've looked at several times, a bunch of different shows. Most recently, uh, it was the, I believe, the North uh, Hudson car show. Um, may have been in a, an, another one uh, you know, previously, but uh, this car definitely makes the car show rounds. It's a great looking uh, C6, definitely. And uh, now we're looking at this 34 Ford Coupe, flathead 8 underneath the hood. Love the banjo steering wheel on the, this era car. And a rumble seat, that's something you definitely will never ever see again in a car. Any modern car I should say. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, here's a late Gen 2 Camaro. Uh, we've looked at this at, in several other car shows as well. Um, this was at the uh, Better Late Than Never show. Um, it was at, I believe, last year's uh, Relay for Life. So if you want to get a little bit more in depth in that car, definitely check it out on the those videos. Uh, now we're looking at a 69 Mustang Mach 1. Love the old wooden steering wheels. It's a great looking interior in this car. And this is a Malibu SS, um, early 80s. This car we also have looked at before at this uh, car show last year. So again, go back and check that one out. Uh, this one, I believe, also was at the car show last year. This is a uh, 2014 VW GTI. That's the hallmark of a GTI is the uh, plaid seat uh, inserts. And this uh, owner has definitely done a lot to it. Uh, this is a 7th gen Ford F-150. This is the Lariat edition, which meant uh, at the time it was the uh, most luxurious that you could get. Um, this gen was made between 1980 and 1986. And a nice looking original truck. And here is a GMC K10 that has been beautifully restored. I love the, the lift on it. The tires and, and wheel package that they put on this is really just an amazing paint. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 69 Chevy Nova. This has been in a few other car shows that we've uh, been to over the you know past year or so. And this, I believe, is going to be a 75 Chevy Malibu. Love the flash of the extra chrome bits under the, well, no hood there. Um, great looking car. 1969 Camaro SS Convertible. Very interesting color combo, but you know, 
70s and uh, 60s and 70s you could get these odd green colors and everybody loved them very unique now uh, we're looking at a 49 Chevy 3100 pickup straight six I love the uh, the patina on this uh, truck love the, the paint wear down the repaints and the original interior everything about this truck is just right on definitely could use a new bed but uh, also gives it some character now uh, we're walking towards this uh, street rod here I think it's a late 30s Chevy coupe um, this is my weak spot when it comes to cars is uh, 30s and 40s um, so if anybody knows exactly what year definitely a nicely upgraded interior uh, if you guys know what this is please leave a comment and uh, let me know it's the thing I always love about this uh, doing this is I love learning uh, 1998 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP this car came normally with a 3.4 liter V6 the GTP uh, upgraded that to a 3.8 supercharged engine that you could also find in the Pontiac Bonneville um, Buick uh, Regal I think of the of the year how you could get with a, the supercharged option um, I love the aftermarket uh, headlights on this one and we're gonna keep on a Pontiac theme here with this 1970 Trans Am You'll see in a minute, the owner left a note on this that it's been in a 12-year restoration. And it just recently has been registered and he's done 10 miles on it since uh, he's done all this work. And you can see it still needs a little bit of stuff here and there, like a, the door panel and, and whatnot. But check out the pictures of what it looked like. We're looking at another Trans Am. This is a 1969 what a difference a year makes both gorgeous cars love the hood tack really an amazing car I believe this car was also in last year's uh, Relay for Life beautiful bird another Pontiac this is a 72 Le Mans um, 72 this car would be the the basis of the GTO and the GTO judge um, they were built off the Le Mans platform and I uh, god I love looking at these cars this is a Plymouth Roadrunner I'm uh, sorry the Plymouth Superbird 1970 um, this has got the you'll see in a, a minute the 440 uh, engine car and take a look yeah slow that down and look at that again forty like seven hundred dollars for this car new was a lot of money that's why they didn't sell too many of them I think the total of in like two maybe three thousand cars I, I'd, I'd have to double check I'll put the if I can find a, a number total production I'll put that number in here so uh, we get that right love the wing is a 73 Plymouth Duster this I believe was in the cars and coffee video that we uh, had for you um, for May so again check that out if you want a little bit more on this car and we got a couple of Harleys Sorry guys, I can't tell you a whole lot on the bikes. I another one of my weak spots. I do love the uh, fairing, I believe is what it's called. Now we got uh, Oath Six Mustang GT. Now it's got a GT350 stripe on the bottom. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I don't believe this is a. Shelby car, but uh, 
you're the owner of this car, you know, uh, fill us in. Let us know what's going on with the, uh, the stripes there. Uh, this, I believe, was going to be a late Fox Body Mustang. Uh, 90, 93, somewhere in that range. Uh, absolutely great looking car. I love uh, all the uh, touches that the owner has done to it to uh, definitely make this car their own. O4 Acura RSX Type S. This again is a car that we've seen in several car shows over uh, the past year or so. Award winning car. Slow that down, you can see all the, the build on this uh, RSX. The late fourth gen Camaro SS. LS, LS1, I believe, would be the uh, engine in this. Same as in the Corvette, just a little detuned. Very nice looking SS. Now we got a group of Kawasaki motorcycles. Uh, this first, first one, I'm not 100% sure if it's a ninja like the others, but the other two are definitely ninjas. Great looking bunch of bikes. 1977 VW bus. That I believe, if I remember correctly, the owner named Bertha. These uh, things are, are becoming harder and harder to find, and they are starting to be worth a lot of money. Uh, we got a Chevy Silverado crew cab. Love the rim and tire package. Lifted. I had to, uh, as you can see, raise the camera because I couldn't see inside. The paint on this thing, uh, whether it's paint or a wrap, unbelievable. Love the uh, iridescence. The uh, metal flake in it the whole thing about it is just really awesome thank you very much for watching this first video of the rutland relay for life car show i'm going to put all the information on uh, as much of the re information as i can on the relay uh, for life uh, if you feel like donating uh, in the uh, description um, also if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to the channel and give us a, a like uh, make sure also to hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are being uploaded. And keep track of all of our social media because um, Cars and Coffee uh, got there kind of late and I did the whole Cars and Coffee for uh, June um, through a Facebook Live. So that uh, go over to our Facebook uh, and all that information is going to be here. And if you are considering being a contributor to the channel, information down below. Have a day. Hopefully it's a good one.